guys, it's Lena, and I feel like I haven't recorded for a while, but I'm really happy to be back again. And today I'm going to be doing this look right here. It's inspired by JLo, the bronzy look, and the hair, the hair. <laughs> um, this was inspired by um, Kim Kardashian. And don't worry, I didn't chop my hair off. This is a wig, but I kind of like it. Anyways, I'm going to lighten my brows a little bit with this brow mascara. This is from Japan, and I'll link everything down below so you guys know what I'm using. Make sure you comb your hair backwards so you're catching all the hair and really changing the color of the brows. Then comb your brows in place so it doesn't look all weird. <laughs> Next, I'm going to use this new Stila's Nouveau Natural Eyeshadow Palette. I love, love, love this. I just got it. This is my actually the first time using this palette. The colors are just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm using the color Desire. This is a pinky nude color, and I'm applying that to set my primer. Next, I'm going to take the color Dune. And this is a beautiful transition shade. I love it, love, love it. You can actually use it for your brow bone if you're uh, darker than me. And I'm applying this color on the crease area and above my crease with the same brush. And I'm taking the color Wind, no, Wit um, from the palette. This is a beautiful, like, rosy blush toned shade. And I'm going to apply that where I applied the previous color. The eyeshadows in this palette are so gorgeous and blendable. So I highly recommend this to anybody who's interested in buying um, natural palette. And I'm just layering the color to create a nice base with a fluffy brush. And next I'm taking this middle shade. This is called Individual. And this color is super warm, very pretty, has a red undertone type of brown. And I'm applying that to my crease. Just again, building up the color, layering it and making it more darker and deeper. It's really self-explanatory, but I apply the same color with the big fluffy brush to create more depth to my eyes. And so far, I've just been using matte shades in this palette. And in this palette, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight matte shades and one, two, three, four shimmers. So this palette is super versatile, so you can create pretty much any looks that you want. Next, I'm going back to the color Desire. Uh, and I'm applying that to my brow bone and I'm blending everything out with a blending brush. Next, I'm going to deepen the look even more by using this color Java with um, Coastal Sense 250 brush. I love this brush for precision. And I'm applying this to my crease. Well, kind of above my crease. This will be great for hooded eyes because you can see the eyeshadow even if you have your eyes open if you apply it above your crease. This also creates the illusion of bigger eyes. So if you want your eyes to look more doll-like and whiter, you can try this technique. Make sure you always tap your brush off or you can take the excess off on your wrist and apply it on your eyes. This way you don't over apply your eyeshadow and it gives you a more diffuse soft look. As always, go back with a fluffier brush after you apply the color and blend everything out. Next, I'm going to apply this color Instinct. I think this is my new favorite eyeshadow. It's so beautiful, I just can't. And I'm damped my brush and applying this to my lids. Do you see how gorgeous this is? Anyways, I'm going to take the Max uh, Tan Pigment. I love, love, love and obsessed obsessed with this color and I'm using a synthetic brush and I also damped my brush using Smashbox primer water and the primer water is perfect for this you can also use max fix plus or an eye drop whatever you prefer and this makes a beautiful foiled look and I'm blending the harsh edges next I'm going to take the color Java again to define my eyes once more because I applied those pigments and it kind of got lost so I'm just applying that to my crease and above my crease and blending everything out as usual Next, I'm picking up this color, Dune, and I'm applying that with a fluffy blending brush to diffuse everything. Moving on to my lower lash line, I'm using the color Individual with a bullet brush and applying that to two-thirds of my eyelids. Not eyelids, lash line. I always make this mistake. Ugh. Then, to darken the look, I'm taking Understanding and Java mixed together and applying that to my lash line again. 
and I'm bringing everything all the way to the center of my eyes and blend it away and I'm so happy Stella included this color kitten in this palette oh so amazing so gorgeous for your inner tear duct any parts that you want to highlight and bring forward and I'm applying that with the same brush to my tear duct and to make my lower lashes darker I'm going to apply this color cocoa I'm in love with the cocoa why do I sound so lame when I do it I don't know Anyways, I applied my lashes and all that jazz on my eyes already, so I'm moving on to my face and I'm using Tarte Matte Waterproof Park Avenue Princess Bronzer all over my face. Is this bronzer really waterproof? I don't know, I never went swimming with this thing on, but I hope it is because I'll be sweating a lot in Japan. Next, I'm going to sculpt my face using Kevin McCoy's Sculpting Powder, love it. And I'm using Blush Rush from e.l.f. to chisel my cheekbones, my jawline, and my hairline. I highly recommend e.l.f. brushes if you are on budget or if you're just starting out makeup. This is a pretty good brush. I like it. Next, I'm going to contour my nose. When I was going through my selfies the other day, I noticed that my nose are kind of big. Yeah, especially when I smile. So I wanted to contour my nose. Uh, with this Kevin Aqua powder with a blending brush, small tapered uh, blending brush, so it gives you more precision. And I really like the result that I get from it. Next, blushes. I'm going to apply two blushes today because I wanted to layer and create more bronzy look. This one is from Becca and it's called Wild Honey. This blush is life right now. I love it so much. This could be a bronzer for light to medium skin tone. For me, it creates a beautiful blush slash bronzer type of look. And on top of that, I'm going to layer Tarte's Blush in Blissful. My cousin got me hooked on Tarte blushes. I blame her. Love you, Kiki. And this color is just gorge on any skin tone. And I just feel like wearing this more and more because it's getting warmer and it's just perfect for summer. And I'm blending everything out with a stippling brush. We cannot finish the look without applying the highlighter. This is the new Laura Mercier Limited Edition Indiscretion Highlighter. It's currently sold out right now on March 27th, but hopefully it comes back in stock because this thing is gorgeous. I want a backup just in case if I ran out. But this has a beautiful rose gold sheen. It looks great on my cousin Kiki and it works for my skin too. So it's very neutral, wearable color. It's not too gold, too pink. It's perfect. I love it so much. So I'm really happy that I got it. Yay! Anyways, I'm going to move on to my lips. I'm using MAC South Culture Lip Liner all over my lips. I'm going to fill in my lips with this color too. I've been obsessed with corals and pink shades and bright colors, but I wanted to apply nude shade because I was inspired by Kim Kardashian. I saw her picture the other day and she had on this beautiful shimmery lip shade nude lips and blonde hair so that's why i went with that and i'm using la splash cosmetics innocent vixen it's a perfect nude i love it more than pure hollywood from anastasia which has been raved by everybody but eh it's okay la splash cosmetics formula the pricing beats the anastasia one anyways i'm going to top my makeup off with urban decades this lick setting spray and I'm all done. This is my final look. I hope you guys like this bronze glow look and I'm kind of feeling this blonde wig. What do you guys think? Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share and comment and stay connected with me by following me on Instagram. And if you aren't already a subscriber, please subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!